Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am here with the final game of the Atlantic League season. Yes, it's coming to an end, but don't fret. I'm going to set up another league. I am thinking about ideas of another mixed league with players from different eras and different seasons and a, a, a more um, hearty mix than the Atlantic League had. Um, so we will be replacing the Atlantic League with another league coming up soon. But right now we are on the last game of the year and we will take a look at the league stats and see where the White Sox are going into the last game of the season. Now we again have our man Alex Fernandez pitching so he always seems to draw the card when it's time for me to um, you know put a put a, a game up for a recording for a video. And you can see we're in third place, 82 and 79, and we have no chance of catching Cleveland or Kansas City. So, uh, yeah, there's going to be no playoffs for us. Um, and, yeah, 82 and 79. So, I don't know that it really matters whether we go to 82 and 80 or whether we go to 83 and 79. But, um, be that as it may, let's take a look at the statistics for the team because this is the last game of the year. So we're going to take a look at what we're doing. So let's take a look at Frankie. Frank Thomas, 49 home runs. The dude is stuck on 49 home runs. He needs to get one in this last game. It would be nice. 129 RBIs. I mean, obviously he was carrying this team the entire year. Uh, Lavalier is hitting an impressive 305 for 311 at bats. Um, Darren Jackson is hitting 278 with uh, with 19 home runs. Franco, Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco with 15 home runs. Belton Bill Melton has 17 home runs, playing only part time in 228 at bats. That's pretty impressive. Um, Robin High Ventura, 18 home runs. I mean, we had some we had some hitting. Hit 265 as a team with 159 home runs, which is actually not very impressive in 161 games. Uh, or maybe it wasn't 94, but it isn't right now. It wouldn't have been right now. The uh, staff though has a 4.39 earned run average, and Fernandez, who is going up today, is 11 and 15 with a 3.62 earned run average allowing 245 hits in 241 innings of pitching. And so, you know, we've got Aaron Bummer, our man, Aaron Bummer, from, uh, you know, not on the 94 White Sox, actually on the 2000-and-something White Sox, the 2018 White Sox. Uh, I'm not sure what year Bummer is, but somewhere around there. Um, and he had a 173 earned run average in 36 well, innings. Headline. Alexa, that's enough. So Alexa, she just wants to go in there and interrupt me. So anyway, um, that's what we're talking about right now. So we're going to see if we can win this game. Uh, we'll bring up the uh, we'll bring up the we're playing Texas, and we're going to go up against. Um, well, no, wait a minute. No, we're not. We're playing Kansas City. Playing Kansas City going up against Charlie Liebrand. With Alex Fernandez on the mound for us. So let's go and do that. Uh, yes, we are home. We're the human. Well, we're visiting, but I'm the human and I am controlling the White Sox. Our lineup will be Lance Johnson in center, Cora at second, Thomas at first, Ventura at third. Melton, Belton, Bill Melton at DH, Fiskett catcher, Darren Jackson in right, Guillen at short, and Reigns in left. Um, and we have Fernandez pitching, as I said. They're going to have Liebrandt on the mound. Their lineup will be Amos Otis in center, Frank White at second, Bo Jackson in left field. Bo knows baseball. Uh, Bob Hamlin will be the first baseman. Mike McFarlane will be at catcher, George Brett at third, 
Briss Lord in right field. Briss Lord. Now, there's a name. That's a blast from the past, like way in the past. And um, Kevin Elka Seitzer will be at DH, and Greg Gagne will be at shortstop. And so with that, we're going to get underway, and I may have to move my face a little bit. Yeah, we're going to move my face over here just to get me out of the way a little bit here. And so you got Lance Johnson leading off against Lee Brandt, who appears in a Reds uniform, of all things. And uh, that is going to be a single for Lance Johnson. So he leads off with a hit. Um, Joey Cora is up next. I'm just going to let him hit. I mean, you know, we're just having fun. I'm letting the guys play. This is the last game of the season, and we're not going, we're not playing for anything. We're not going to the playoffs. So Cora is out, and Frank Thomas looking for home run 50. And right there, he's just going to ground the ball to Brett. And, uh,. They don't, they don't turn the double play, but it is a fielder's choice with Brett now at first base and Robin High Aventura is going to strike out. So Lee Brandt gets out of the first inning. We got Amos Otis going up against our man Fernandez. And that is going to be a line out. Line out to Guillen. One down quickly and Frank White. I loved Frank White. He was one of my favorite players. I say that about a lot of guys, but a lot of guys were some of my <laughs> were some of my favorite players. Bo knows baseball. Bo Jackson is up and he's gonna jack one out of the park. It's gonna be a home run for Bo Jackson to give Kansas City a one nothing lead here in game one sixty two of our season. And Bob Hamlin, I don't have a picture of Bob Hamlin, but I should. He was a notable guy. Another Bob, remember I, I put a game up uh, recently where Bob Robertson, or not Bob Robertson, some other Bob was playing and did not have his image. But Bill Melton is aboard with a single. There's no outs and Melton is aboard and Fisk is the batter. And Fisk is going to hit a double. Now, I don't I don't know if they'll give me the option to send Melton, but I'm probably not going to do it anyway because he's a 12 runner. So, no, we're going to hold the runners. We got runners at second and third with nobody out. And the very well hitting Darren Jackson is going to hit it very well. And does he knock in two runs? He does. So we take a 2-1 to one lead with Ozzy Guillen up. And he's going to ground out to third base. It's going to be a fielder's choice. So Guillen will be aboard at first. And uh, Tim Raines is the batter with only one down. And he's going to pop out to first. Hamlin will make that play. There's two down quickly now after the uh, little rally that we pulled off. And Lance Johnson, leadoff hitter, who let off the game with a hit, is going to strike out. But we have a 2-1 to one lead, and McFarlane is the batter. And McFarlane's going to, he's going to lace a base hit to left field. Who knew that would happen with McFarlane up? Brett is the batter. And, oh, he, what the heck happened there? I guess he was able to evade, evade getting thrown out. But Brett strikes out, and so McFarland's up at second with one down, and Briss Lord is going to hit a single. That looks like a statue of Briss Lord, not really the real Briss Lord. Now they have runners at the corners with one down, and Kevin Elka Seitzer is the batter, and he's going to hit a single. It was only a 1-7, to seven and he got it. So Greg Gagne is up. The uh, Royals have tied this game up, and that is going to be a double play, is it? No, it is not a double play, but it is an out, and Amos Otis is the batter. And Amos Otis is going to hit a single. You got to think Briss Lord's going on that. I'm going to stop the run the runner from advancing the, you know, trailing runner and they take a 3 to 2 lead now with Frank White up and Frank White's going to strike out. I think we have a decent offense here. I think we have a decent lineup. We can get back into this. Joey Cora is the batter and he is going to fly out against the very good Charlie Lee Brandt. Of course, he was excellent when he was on the Braves. And really, he was excellent when he was on Kansas City. 
Frank Thomas is the batter, and no, he's not going to get that home run. It was a ballpark homer, and he is not going to get it. So um, there's two down. Yeah, he didn't get it. And Ventura is up, and he is going to fly out. So we come away with nothing because Frank Thomas couldn't get that minuscule ballpark home run. And Bo Jackson is up. He is one for one, though, with a home run himself. This time he's going to fly out, looks probably like deep. No, not that deep. Not really. To uh, Johnson. One down, Bob Hamlin up. And he is going to fly out to right field. Darren Jackson. Now that is a deep fly ball. And there is two down and McFarlane up at the plate. He singled last time, and now he's going to hit a home run? Come on. Are you kidding me with Mike McFarlane? Oh, my God. Mike McFarlane is killing us. All right, well, uh, now they have a 4-2 to lead, and George Brett is the batter. That is going to be a fly ball left field X. Can Reigns make that play? It looks like he can. But now we're down by an additional two runs. Bill Melton is the batter, and he's going to strike out. And that'll bring up Carlton Fisk, and he's going to line out to shortstop. And Darren Jackson is up. And Darren Jackson is going to be out. He was one for one, and now he's one for two. You like how I did the math on that? All right, so Briss Lord is the batter here against Fernandez. Now, of course, I could empty the bullpen out. I could pitch every guy, just give them an inning, give them a couple of pitches, do whatever I want, because it's the last game of the year. They're all going home. They're going to pack their stuff and go home after this game. Gagne is up. There's two down. And that is going to be a big strikeout. So, uh, Guillen is the batter. We're down by two. Uh, we would like to crawl back into this against Liebrandt, but I don't know if he's going to let us. That's a ground ball to Gagne. And Gagne makes the play just in the nick of time. Tim Raines is the batter, and he is going to ground out to Frank White, the slick fielding Frank White. And Lance Johnson is the batter. And he is going to ground out. We go one, two, three in the fifth inning. So Amos Otis is the batter here in the bottom of the fifth. And another hit. Fernandez is getting hit up. He's getting hit up like a, you know, like a pincushion doll here. Frank White is the batter. And that is going to be a play to first base, which allows Otis to go to second and Bo Jackson is up and he's going to fly out. Jackson flying out. There's two down. And uh, the runner does advance. Otis advances to third, but there's two down and Hamlin is the batter. But Hamlin's going to get a single that's going to knock him home and now we're losing 5-2 to two, and I am going to take Fernandez out after this inning. And there is the ever-dangerous Mike McFarlane getting out for the first time this game. So, Cora is the batter, and he's going to ground out. We are in the top of the sixth, losing by the score of 5-2. to two. Frank Thomas looking for home run 50. He's just going to get a base hit, but we'll take it. We'll take whatever we can get. Robin High Ventura is up, and he's going to fly out to center field. And that's going to be an out. So, uh, it looks like there's two down for us now, and Bill Melton, Belton Bill Melton is hitting a double. And again, we have Frank Thomas, a slow guy on the bases. Not good. I am not going to, I'm going to hold him. I'm not going to try to send him. I'm going to hope Fisk can get a big hit here. He's going to hit the ball at Gagne. Let's see if Gagne can make a, you know, boof the ball here, but he can't. And now I will go get another pitcher from the bullpen. And that pitcher is going to be 
Roberto Hernandez. We're going to bring him in. And he is going to deal to George Brett. And he's going to allow a double to George Brett. Obviously, George Brett was still dangerous in whatever year this is of George Brett. And now Briss Lord is a Briss Lord always dangerous, but he strikes out here. Roberto Hernandez strikes him out. Kevin Seitzer is up with a man at second, and he is going to hit a double. These guys are just uncharacteristically tearing the ball up. I don't know what's going on with that with this, but uh, so now they have another run at six to two, and Gagne is at the plate. He's going to strike out. And Amos Otis is up here in the bottom of the sixth. He's going to hit a fly ball to Darren Jackson. He's a good fielder. He should make the play, and we should get out of this. So we need four runs. We're here in the top of the seventh. Darren Jackson up, and he's going to line out. Which brings up Ozzie Gian. And Ozzie Gian is going to hit a uh, ground ball to the shortstop. Tim Raines is up. Tim Raines is going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop X. Let's see if Gagne comes up with the uh, play. He does not. Raines gets aboard, and we've got Lance Johnson at the plate, and he is going to strike out. So uh, we're going to the bottom of the seventh inning. Frank White is the batter for Kansas City, and he will ground out to Ventura. Bo Jackson up, had a home run today, and right there he's going to walk. Roberto Hernandez putting him on. He wants nothing to do with Bo Jackson. And Bob Hamlin is the batter. And, well, we'll throw for him, but we're not going to get him. Bo Jackson steals second on me. I was asleep at the wheel. Hamlin takes a walk, so it doesn't really end up mattering too much. Um, two on and one out, and the dangerous McFarlane up, and he strikes out. So now all of a sudden, now that he's done all this damage to us, he figures he can just become the regular Mike McFarlane that he always was. And George Brett is the batter, and he's going to walk. And so her, Roberto Hernandez walks the bases loaded for Briss Lord. And Briss Lord's going to hit the ball down at Ventura. He is a good fielding third baseman, but it gets away from him, and he has an error, which allows another run to score, or two, or whatever. I mean, we're getting killed. And that is going to be a single double asterisk by Seitzer, of all people. I mean, this lineup is just uncharacteristically hitting like Ty Cobb, one through nine. And uh, Gagne is the batter, and he is going to fly out. So I will get another pitcher in the eighth just to get somebody else, you know, some time, last game of the season. But Joey Cora, we're losing 10-2. We're not coming back in this one. I can tell you that right now. And Frank Thomas looking for 50. No, he did not get 50. Had a chance, but again, the ballpark homer. This ballpark isn't allowing home runs today. And that brings up Ventura with two down, and he is going to ground out to second base. So it looks like Lebrand's going to get a complete game here. We're going to the bottom of the eighth. I will go get... Um, Hernandez, and we'll bring another guy in. We're going to bring in Ossenmacher. Ossenmacher on the year, a 208 earned run average in 30 innings pitched. Beginning to see why this team didn't do so well. We have good relievers out there that he just really wasn't using very much. However, with this Kansas City lineup, nobody is a good relief pitcher. Nobody's a good pitcher of any kind. Otis gets a single, and Frank White is the batter, and again, they catch me asleep at the wheel and steal second base. Frank White, the batter, and he walks, and the same thing happens. Wait a minute. What happened? I, I thought I was bringing Ossenmacher into the game. What the heck? All right, maybe I didn't do that. I thought I did that. All right, now Ossenmacher is in the game. 
and he strikes a guy out. He strikes out Bo Jackson. He says, you know what, uh, I don't know if you planned on bringing me in, but I'm not in. That's still Roberto Hernandez out there. So there's a fly ball to Johnson. And that is going to be two down and Mike McFarlane. Two for four today, and he's going to be three, four, five. And driving yet another run. I think their their uh, player of the game is definitely Mike McFarlane. I am going to throw for the lead runner just because I want to. Um, and it doesn't help. And George Brett is the batter. And he's going to walk. This is, I man, can, I, what, did, did Kansas City win 110 games in this league? That's going to be a strikeout for Briss Lord. So, um, yeah, we're down 12-2. We need 10 runs right here with Bill Melton leading us out. And they are showing no signs of taking Lebran out, and why would you? That's going to be a pop-out. And Carlton Fisk is the batter. And he is going to fly out because, again, this ballpark just does not allow home runs on ballpark homers. And uh, yeah, recap the scores, which we don't care about. And Darren Jackson is the batter, and that's going to be a catcher card for McFarland. And McFarland makes the play to top it all off. We're going to get the box score on this one. I mean, Kansas City was crazy good in this game. They were 12 for 38 at the plate with thir with uh, or, or 12. They scored 12 runs. They were 13 for 38 at the plate with 10 RBIs. Won 12 to two. Fernandez only went five and gave up five runs. Hernandez went two and gave up three runs. And Ossenmacher pitched one and didn't allow anything, but he was well on his way to doing that. Liebrandt got the shutout. Uh, well, not the shutout. He did give up two runs, but he, he pitched nine innings and allowed only seven hits and didn't walk anybody and only gave up, as I said, two runs. So that is that, and uh, we'll take one last look at the final standings. Um, we went to 82 and 80. I mean, you know, we were over 500. you got to say that. We were over 500 for the year. And Kansas City, yeah, I mean, Kansas City won our division. They were We were going up against the best team in our division, and they showed it. They certainly showed it. Although the Yankees were better than them with 101 wins. They were 101-61. and 61. Let's see who the Yankees had, just out of curiosity, because I know you all want to see that. Let's go to their team stats. So they had Hal Chase. Hal Chase hit 240 or 343 for him. He's more known for being one of the best defensive first basemen in the history of baseball, but he hit 343. Mike Stanley somehow managed to hit 330. Paul O'Neill hit 328. Mattingly hit 312. Polonia hit 303. You got to go down like eight guys before somebody didn't hit 300 on this team. Um. Yeah. And let's see what they had pitching. Did they have any pitchers from the past? Gossage possibly was from their past. Um, I don't know. All I know is they were a good, damn good team. Won 101 games. Well, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. I'm signing off, but look for a new league sometime in the near future to replace the Atlantic League.